Welcome back to Rich Tech. Now, is this the world's worst working MagSafe 2 Retina connector? Keep watching. Now, I'd like to welcome all the new comers to this uh, channel. And uh, if you haven't, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Today, we're going to look at this uh, MagSafe 2 connector, which appears to have gone through a rough past. I was uh, going through my cables, the ones which I usually find from old chargers, and I found this one, and uh, I've been intrigued, and I thought I should uh, check it out, even before I thought I should make a video on it. I was really surprised uh, at the resilience of these uh, uh, connectors and that's the reason why I made this video because uh, I've come to realize or you'll come to realize at the end of this video that uh, Apple make uh, these uh, connectors with a very high degree of skill and expertise and also they put a lot of work and uh, it's funny that uh, someone can leave a MagSafe 2 charger and especially its connector to rust this way and looking at this cable it's been uh, in a dump somewhere uh, it appears to be okay all through except at that point where we have that gash at the end I've also connected it to a 45 watt MagSafe 2 charger and this is where it gets interesting so stay tuned to the end let's see as i stated in the beginning the purpose of this video is to show how these magsafe 2 connectors can go through a lot and uh, still work now to start with let's uh, zoom down here if uh, our camera will allow you can see this top portion is uh, eaten up it's almost gone and we're going to see this in a better way when we test this uh, to show you a comparison of how a MagSafe 2 connector should look like let me put another one near to it and now you can tell the difference the right one has really been eaten up this is corrosion which has uh, eaten up on the outside metal and uh, most, uh, mostly it's the casing, this casing. The upper part seems to be okay and the rubber is not affected in any way. Now, turning this over, that's where the casing is held with uh, this clip. You can see the clip at the corner there. The clip is already there, still there, but the casing is almost gone. As you can see, the corrosion has eaten up all the area almost around the clip and uh, turning to the other side not so bad but bad and this other side uh, the corrosion was less now on the underneath of this uh, connector we have uh, the spreading of the corrosion I think this is an aluminium casing this casing which uh, covers this connector the corrosion is uh, still prevalent as you can see the rubber sheathing the rubber junction is almost being exposed because uh, the corrosion has eaten away that point in the casing right there let's look at the pins but surprise surprise the pins are still in good shape these ones are the ones which made me to go on with my next part of this uh, video or this uh, inquiry. I wanted to see if a connector can be this worn and still work. And uh, also educate you if you never get to see how much this can uh, go through and still work, here it is. I'd like to I thought I should clean it first and then test it, but I wanted to test it first without cleaning it. 
Now I've got some lights working in the background. I want to put them off so that we can see the damage uh, more clearly. Now here we are. I've uh, dimmed off all the lights, put off all the lights. And uh, now we want to see how this charger will work when connected to the Maxif. As I've shown you here, I've already connected it to a power source. Now I'll go ahead and connect this. Sorry for the dimness, but it is important so that we see if this connector can still work and charge a MacBook. Connected. Wow, there is a light there. In the green, I stand to amber. It's not so clear, but uh, let's see if we introduce the light. Uh, with the light, we cannot really tell. We can see the light on one side, showing that it is charging. But I want to show you how the corrosion has eaten through. You can see this casing has been eaten through, and the light is coming from the sides, from the corners. Let me remove it again so that you can see clearly. You can see all those points. They have been eaten through with the corrosion and still this connector powers on. What a surprise. Let's see the other side. There we go. And it's charging. It shows how much work has been put on these connectors and how beating they can take before they give up. This other side intrigues me most because uh, it's like a uh, torn all the way through. And still it's showing it is charging this MacBook. Now I'll clean it up and see how it looks like. And then if it's still working, we'll be able to see it clearly. Now with a bit of cleaning, you can see the damage more clearly now. Now it's been eaten up at that point. All the top of this casing has been corroded. And uh, here we have an interesting feature. We have this clip which holds this casing inside. This is what makes this MagSafe 2 connectors very difficult, almost impossible to open. The underneath, as you can see, there, there are holes right in there, right here too. And on this side, the damage is not so bad. But uh, what you can see clearly from this cleanup effort is how this MagSafe 2 will behave when charging. There we are. It's dim, but you're going to see the light. And the holes. That's this side, and then let's see the other side. But it's amazing that it's still charging. Once again, thank you so much for watching.